Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Trauma Center New Blood. We are going to travel to Kumaruma. Allow me to introduce President Moreno who has taken time out of his busy schedule to greet you. Welcome. I thank you wholeheartedly for coming all this way to save our citizens. What the hell are we in South America, anyway? It's an honor to meet you, Mr. President. Nice to meet you, sir. We hope that we can be of assistance. Hmm. You're much younger than I expected. But nevertheless, I'm sure you're quite skilled. They seem a bit suspicious. Stigma has claimed many victims. And now rumors are sending the populace into the van. My people's suffering is my own. That is why I am so grateful to receive help from your country. We'll do our best as a sign of friendship between our countries. I am counting on Commander, where are the doctors heading? Sir, they'll be deployed to Arda, sir. I see. Our American friends may not be prepared for what is in store for them. But I am afraid we have no alternative. I'm counting on the three of you to care for the infected and determine the cause of the outbreak. In any event, there are some unruly elements in this country, so please be careful. Oh, I almost forgot. Commander, bring her in. Yes, sir. Right away. I am assigning you a special escort. You are our important guest, after all. Come, Papita. <laughs> a dog? Hmm. Why? Oh. <laughs> Don't be afraid. She's a smart dog. She won't die. In fact, she's very well trained. Sniff out mines or something? It's a I don't custom know. in our country to give such dogs as special gifts. I hope you'll accept. Uh, yes, um, thank you very much. Mm. Nice to meet you, Pepita. I intended to have a banquet prepared in your honor. We're doctors, not diplomats. So there's no need for formalities. We're here to help the sick. Yes, you're absolutely correct. We all have our work to attend to, including me. I wish you the best of luck with your assignment. Well, good day. <laughs> the good president day. is now leaving the premises. The president sure seems busy. Yeah, he has his hands full between the gorillas and the economy. And at that stigma. Nice to meet you. Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock, and Miss Salazar. And you are... Maria Estrada. I was born here, but I went to med school and did my residency in the U.S. I'll be acting as your interpreter. I'm thinking about practicing medicine here, actually. Oh, yes. They did say something about an interpreter. Maria? Are you feeling okay? I think I may be coming down with something. <sighs> Look at her eye valve. It's all red. Maria, did you get your immunization shots before returning here? No. Because I was born here, I didn't think I needed them. As a doctor, you should know better. Val, she might have Vimase fever. If that's the case, she'll need immediate treatment. I never heard of that disease. That's endemic to this region, but she hasn't lived here in years. Elena, I need your help. We need to check her lungs. Okay, I'll get everything ready. We're unfamiliar with Vimase fever. Supposedly, it causes unusual tumors in the lungs. Hmm. That's all I know. If this is anything like the unusual tumors from Second Opinion... Those must be the fever tumors mentioned in the examination reports. It appears that removing these tumors will greatly improve the patient's condition. That gives us an idea of how to treat her, but aren't these readings strange? You're right. These fluctuating numbers are a cause for concern. It seems like they're periodically rising and falling. We can't just leave her like this. There's no time to waste. Let's begin the operation immediately. All right, let's get started. Well, here we go. Let's all do our best. Oh, it's these kinds of tumors. 
the color changing tumors. At least we won't have to use the ultrasound to find them, like with normal tumors. That'll help save us some time. We'll still have to be exceptionally cautious. Look at it. It's changing colors periodically. It's like a chameleon. I believe that we can use the same procedure to remove these as with normal tumors. They are already exposed, so please begin by... What was that? It looked like some sort of gas. Oh, that's right. These are just like the tumors from uh, Under the Knife 2. You can only do anything to them when they're blue. Yeah, this is definitely the same as the tumors from Other Than Life 2. Shit. Doctor, it's bleeding and it's become inflamed. I guess if you do let them go back to red, they make, uh... There. The fever tumors have been removed. Please treat the remaining wounds. What should we do about these scars, Doctor? The readings show that the tumors are gone, right? These must be normal scars, then. We'll send the guy back to Caduceus, just in case. Let's close her up. Yeah, that was exactly like the operation under the knife, too. Close up the patient. Except, there was one tumor in under the knife, too, that flashed so fast you needed healing touch for it. If I knew that, uh, I would have used my healing touch right away. Seeing a tumor change color like that was surprising, to say the least. But I'm glad there weren't any complications. Good work, team. going to do with our interpreter bedridden unfortunately that's not the biggest problem here you see she's also a doctor we could have taught her how to treat stigma someone will have to continue seeing patients after we're gone right well we talked it over what did she say she insists on coming even if it kills her are you going to allow that marcus as a patient i would advise her not to go but as a doctor i must respect her decision she studied medicine to help the people of this country, and now is their greatest hour of need. That takes courage. If we carefully monitor her condition along the way, will that ease your fears, Val? Yes, somewhat, but I completely understand her desire to help people. Next time on Let's Play Trauma Center New Blood. Next operation.